A quick way to get better at song structure is to use an existing song, build your beat around it, and then format it in the style of the song that you're referencing. So for example, we have 21 Savages, Prove It, and I'm going to show you how to quickly read the waveform even without hearing it most of the time. And we're going to structure your beat. So firstly, drag it into your tempo, or excuse me, your project file, and then you have to get the tempo of the track. In this case, this tempo is 134. The reason that's important is because you're going to line up the sections of the song. So I can see it perfectly lines up with the tempo here because that locks up perfectly to the grid. So from this point, what we're going to do is just zoom out a little bit and look at the energy of the song. You see more gaps over here. That means they have less drums. Then you see all this right here. That's drum activity, very heavy um, energy. And then it drops out and then it's heavy energy. It kind of drops out less drums, brings back the drums, lower energy at the end. So even if you're reading this in an energetic structure, what we're going to do is grab the slice tool and start making some chops. So we have 10 bars of like beginning stuff, I'll call it. We're going to slice there and we have two bars technically in the very beginning. Um, and then we have eight bars after that. So that makes 10. So we have two bar intro. Now remember, we're at 134 BPM. So really two bars is only one bar in reality. We'll say two bars just so you guys don't get confused though. Okay, so this is technically one bar and then eight more bars, uh, which makes that a four bar section technically. Okay, and then we drop into this energetic section here. You can visually see. Now over here, let's, let's see what this is. You know you okay, so that's a breakdown. So we're gonna slice right there. And let's see what this this looks like. It brings it back up in energy. We're going to keep zooming in, zoom out like it looks like right around here. The energy changes up. So let me turn this down just a little bit. Right, let me see something. Let's control Z that because when you leave it like it is, it's easier to see the sections. OK, so if you make it too low in volume, it's harder to see the contrast. So right there is clearly where the drums come back in over here. Somewhere is where it drops out. So I would say right about there it drops out. Uh, for temporary, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's where the drums come back in. All right, so this is an eight bar section here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I listened to the actual song and the song starts off with an intro. So the intro is two bars technically at 134 BPM, but really it's one bar. And then we have the six bar section here. So total, it's eight bars if you're counting uh, in double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Pardon me, 10 bars combined. This is an eight bar section. This is two bars. So that's 10 bars of an intro. Then we move into the verse. So all we're going to do is reference this 21 Savage track and then build a track, you know, in that structure. So this is a long, long, long verse. I'm not going to count the bars uh, here. We're just going to go to time marker. Let's add this one. Here's where the pre-chorus starts. So pre-chorus is like a build up to the chorus or the hook. Think of a choir. When you hear the word chorus, think choir. Choir is when people sing along together. So the chorus is where usually the singer or the listener sings with the singer. OK, that's why it's called a chorus for the most part. Then we have this new thing that I've seen in different genres, and I'm going to call it a transition from Taylor Swift to, you know, mostly the people on the top billboard. They have this weird transition thing. This is new. I haven't seen this very often um, in modern music or excuse me, you know, in the last 10 years. But I'm starting to see it a lot more frequently. This t this little transition piece. I think it's for social media or song length. I'm not sure the purpose of it, but they definitely add transitions a lot in modern music. That's a new song structure piece for you. Then we have here, I believe that is the verse up top. So I believe you can hit Alt T uh, to do a shortcut. So that's a verse right there. And you will get the project files with the song structure today and the beat that we make today. You won't get the actual 21 Savage track. OK, so that's just a reference. OK, so here we have the transition. OK, so transition. And then over here we have another verse. Now, the verse is getting shorter in length. So in the beginning, you had the longest verse here. You have a shorter verse. And then here you have this short, like the middle verse. The pre-chorus and the chorus are mainly the same thing. You know, there's minor minor differences. The main difference is in the lyrics most of the time. Run. We'll copy it over. OK, so now for the other sections, like the intro, now we can go into Serato and just chop up random parts of the sample. I guess we could listen to the music. So it goes like uh, this better work. One, two, three and boom. OK, there we go. So I'm using these little transitions to, again, glue all the stuff together. Let's use that same structure because there's another transition right there.
I'm gonna delay the sample a little bit more. Okay, so all you have to do for the pre-chorus is just let that sample rock pretty much for this specific song. Transition is just removing stuff, letting stuff be soloed, and it's copy and paste. So I'll let you guys have fun with the rest of this beat. I don't want to eat up too much time. Go to busyworksbeats.com slash flstudio to download the song structure for free. It will not come with the sample. Thank you for watching. It's Game from busyworksbeats.com. Peace.